Hey guys, it's Thunder here again, and welcome back to another video, and today we're back in Need for Speed 2015 for another car build, and today I wanted to take a look at the Golf, because, well, this was a car that recently got an overhaul with customization parts, and I kind of wanted to make, um, Sunny's Golf, so we're gonna do both of those things, so let's go ahead and hop into the customization shop. So before, all I saw was this huge Forge body kit, which you look crazy. We also have this one, which is new, uh, and then the Rocket Bunny one. These are these two were the only um, body kits available previously, but now, um, yeah, they added in a whole lot more. So with the hood, I'm gonna go with the race style hood because I think that looks pretty cool. Nothing's really crazy on the front bumper, but you know, I'm gonna go with the Ghost Games one. All right, so there are two different fenders, one of which being the large stock fenders. The other one is restricted. But it's only because we have extended bumper version 2 equipped. However, if we uh, install just the extended bumper version 1, we could put some large fender flares. C come on. We'll also do the same to the back. And then we'll also add another extended bumper at the rear. And with the exhaust, we have a little bit of a list here. But the ones that caught my eye the most were the dual exhausts. Because I thought these... Just looked really, really cool. And one other thing we forgot to do was change the headlights. Um, I was completely unaware of this, so we have an intake light, and then we also have taped lights, and... Uh, no, I, I don't really like that. I don't like the green tape. So I'm just gonna keep the headlights stock. So after looking through the rims for a little bit, I think the SSR MS1 rims look the best in my opinion. So as I look through the calipers, the Brembo small calipers are already equipped. We have some endless ones, some stop tech ones, some Willwood ones, and that's about it. However, I think we also have the large brake caliper from Brembo, and I think I'm gonna go for this because I just prefer this one over the smaller one. And honestly, on this car, the brake discs already look really nice, but I wanna give the forged grooved brake discs a try. So we have three different vinyl wraps to choose from. So we have this one, we have the sunny one of course, and then we have that one which looks basic as fuck. But come on, do, do you really think I would go with the other two? I mean come on, we're gonna go with the sunny one. Alright guys, so now we're in free roam and we're alongside of a Sylvia who just decided to, you know, just pop up next to me. And look at that, he's spitting those flames. Those his exhaust pipes are producing more fire than my mixtape. Oh, what a pussy. You declined my invite. Okay, fine. Run away, you little bitch. Alright, so now we're doing our first race in our beautiful golf. And I mean, I'm just gonna say it again. The vinyl on this car looks really, really nice. Like, everything is so accurate. Um, you know, minus the rear end that shows Speed Hunters instead of Kenwood. Since I don't think they have the Kenwood vi license. The Speed Hunters... Um, stickers still makes up for. I mean, this car is just sick. And I've actually never driven the Golf, so this is gonna be a first time driving it, much like in my Mustang, which, you know, I haven't driven yet. And this car, it's it's a little grippy. I don't think it was designed to go this fast, obviously. I don't know, it just, it feels a little weird to drive. Like, it just, it's like, come on, don't push me this hard, or else I'm gonna just spontaneously combust. And yeah, I think one of the only reasons why is because, well, obviously, you know, this car isn't designed to go this fast is, well, one of them. But I think the second one is because the car, the, the RPMs on this car are, like, maxed out at 6,000. And it just, it can't take the gear shifting over and over and over again. And there we go. We are across the line with the time of 312. That's gonna be my guess. What was it, 3... Third, yeah, there we go, 312. See, I'm a sidekick. So, we finished that race, so let's go on to our last race of today. And now we're doing our last event of today. We're going to do Sarkody Speed because I think this car suits it pretty well since it's kind of low powered in comparison to some of the other car builds I've been doing. But no, this thing just pulls right off the bat and just instantly gets first place. I probably picked a race that was a little too easy, and I think I fixed the problem just a little bit to where, you know, the car instantly shifts up instead of, um, you know, it just staying at 6,000 RPMs and just, it keeps redlining. So I just went to the garage and I just changed my differential and I think it just fixed the problem. It definitely fixed the problem, but it just happens when I'm going at high speeds like this because, you know, it's kind of near the top speed. But yeah, this car definitely does pull. It's just, it's a really slow around some corners like that one. I just went around that like 55 miles per hour. I guarantee you, if I were a traffic car, 
it would probably overtake that golf around this corner. And here we go, around this corner. Oh, uh, that was okay. Oh my god, I almost went into a tree. That would have been really bad. We just have a little bit of the race left to go. And I don't know how far ahead we are of everyone else in the race. But there we go, across the line. Could have definitely done a lot better. 220 is kind of a shitty time. But I mean, other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and suggest any car you guys want me to build in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.